while dinosaurs have been around for nearly 70 million years, it is only in the late Jurassic that they have reached their golden age. And here, one group is thriving more than any other, stegosaurids. The largest and most common of these Chinese stegosaurs is Tujongosaurus. Similar in size and appearance to the North American stegosaurus, this creature leads a similarly sociable existence, roaming the forest in large herds of up to 20 animals. But even if they somehow get separated from the larger group, their three-ton bulk and impressive array of plates and spines are usually enough to see off most attackers. Another common sight in the forests of Jurassic Asia is Chungkingosaurus. Though not as large or as plentiful as Tujongosaurus, they are no less impressive. In addition to their spinal plates, they also possess eight tail spikes, as well as massive spines protruding from their shoulders. So, while their unimpressive stature may make them appear easier targets, they compensate by being much pricklier ones. To find the truly spectacular examples of dinosaurian defense, one must, ironically, look to the smallest of the Dashampu stegosaurids. At less than half a ton, Gigantspinosaurus is much, much smaller than most of the dinosaurs it shares its home with. But its massive, reinforced shoulder blades ensure that even the fiercest predator will think twice before attacking. This range of defensive armaments have allowed the stegosaurids to utterly dominate this ecosystem. However, even in this land of plenty, not every species is flourishing. Wyangosaurus is one of the oldest of the stegosaurs. Once, vast herds of these two-ton herbivores dotted the landscape. But as the climate cooled and the jungles they depended on began to disappear, they were pushed to the very fringes of their old territory. And these magnificent creatures will soon vanish entirely. Another species, very different but no less ancient, is also teetering on the brink of extinction. The carnivorous Sinraptor. <laughs> For nearly 10 million years, Sinraptor has been the apex predator of the Laurasian continent. But now, competition from recently evolved rivals has turned this once successful killer into an endangered species. And of these new competitors, one stands out above the rest. Young Schwanosaurus is a super predator unlike anything the Earth has ever seen. At nearly 11 meters, it is the largest carnivorous dinosaur in the area. And, most crucially, young Schwanosaurus lives and hunts in packs. Sinraptor, despite dominating these lands for millions of years, stands little chance against these roving bands of cooperative killers. Given the tropical nature of the climate, rainstorms are very common, happening almost daily. While today's storm has incited panic in at least one Chungkingosaurus, this herd of gigant Spinosaurus pays the weather no mind as they continue with the task of feeding. But one of their number has strayed in its foraging, and has put itself directly in the crosshairs of a pair of young Schwanosaurus. Despite its heavy armor, isolated from its family, it can do little to fight back against the predators. As the sun dips beneath the horizon, a Sinraptor emerges to feed on the fallen Stegosaur. The fading tyrant of a vanished kingdom, reduced to a mere scavenger, stealing the scraps of those who will soon come to usurp him entirely. The age of the dinosaurs will continue, but for Sinraptor, time has all but run out.